Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Chris with Track My EV, and today I have some exciting news to share with you. So my long-term goal when I bought this car was to run a 205 at VIR on the full course. And so the first time I went out there on the track about two years ago, I was able to run a, about a 215. So in my mind, I figured, hey, if I can drop 10 seconds off of that, that's gonna be a win in my book. And fortunately, uh, you know, it did take a couple years, but I was able to make that happen. So I got out there last weekend and I put down a 204.9 as my fast lap. So pretty impressive. Um, there's really not a lot of four door sedans out there that are capable of doing that. You know, if you look at a Porsche Cayman GT4, like a 2016, with a professional driver, probably looking at about a 207. If you look at a F82 M4 GTS, with a professional driver, probably looking at about, you know, 202 to 203. And let me tell you, I am an amateur driver, I'm not a professional, so there's probably some time left on the table. And when you take all that into account, I, I think it's really impressive what an EV can do on the track, specifically a Performance Model 3, you know, with the right supporting modifications. So my last event last year, I ran a 208.01. So I dropped just a hair over three seconds from that, uh, that last event. And we did make a couple changes to the car, nothing drastic. So before we were running the Federal 595 RS Pros in a 275. So for this year, we changed those out to Yokohama Advent AO52s in a 295. So basically gained about an inch of tread to the ground. And you know, it's definitely a stickier tire. I think some people have compared it, you know, to it's almost like a borderline R compound. And, you know, there was a noticeable difference. So I'd say that's probably fa fairly accurate. So, you know, that was a big change in terms of our actual speeds that we were seeing through corners. Um, the other thing that I changed out is I actually ditched the MCS one-way non-remote coilovers. And I went with the MPP Sports, uh, which are two-way adjustable. So, you know, on paper kind of seems like a bit of a downgrade. Uh, the MCS are definitely a lot more expensive. But in practice, I was actually really surprised and happy with how the MPPs performed on track. Um, getting to and from the track, definitely a lot more compliant on the street. It's not nearly as harsh of, as a ride. And when you combine the MPPs and the Yokohamas, I was actually able to gain six miles an hour through the S's. So I hit 130 miles an hour. My previous best was 124. My speeds through most corners were similar, if not slightly better. So, you know, Overall, definitely a lot faster lap time. Um, you know, three seconds at VIR is pretty hard to come by, especially, you know, the further you get down there, the more difficult it becomes to find time. So I'm really happy with uh, where we ended. The only other noticeable change that was made to the car during the off season, as you can probably see here, is I did remove a fair bit of the interior. Uh, we dropped about 170 pounds total most of that was from the seats. So the passenger seat was taken out and the rear seat was taken out. Uh, you can see I also have like the headliner and the A and C pillars up, but honestly they really don't weigh much and they're gonna end up going back in the car. So overall 170 pounds is, you know, not a lot, but it's definitely more than nothing. And, you know, I do think it had some contribution to dropping that lap time. Um, also, I still have the stock seats installed or the stock seat driver's side installed. I ordered a set of Sparkos actually about two months ago and they just haven't come in yet. But once I get those, you know, they're gonna weigh quite a bit less than the stock seats and they're gonna give a lot more support. Um, one of the downsides to the Model 3 is the stock seats just don't offer a lot of side bolster support. So that's gonna be a nice upgrade. But uh, now that I've kind of given you my spiel about how we got there, uh, go ahead and enjoy watching the lap.